What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Thread mod, and pretty much what this mod does is it will help keep you from getting lost. It's a very simple mod, yet very useful. So let me go ahead and hop in my Minecraft world here, and I will show you exactly what the mod does. So you do have to hit P to activate the mod, and as soon as you do that, it will say, Theseus, my love, come back alive. And when you walk around, you'll notice that there will be a thin uh, thread behind you. It's kind of translucent. And you'll notice if once you get far enough away, it'll start to disappear. But it's still there, as you can see. The situation I would see this being most useful in would be if you are going to go and explore a cave. Because then you won't get lost. So you'll always know where you came from and all that good stuff. So like I said, a very simple mod, but I figured a lot of you guys would uh, find this one interesting and useful, so I figured I'd show you it. Again, just hit P to activate it, it'll come up with a little message at the bottom of the screen, and then it'll start to lay out thread wherever you walk. And I almost died. So that is the thread mod. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I will be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 7 Zipper WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you need to download ModLoader and the Thread mod itself. So to get ModLoader and the Thread mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the thread mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, it'll be a tiny bit of information here. And then the download for the media fire. Uh, first you go through an ad fly, so just click on this link right here. And then it'll take us to an ad fly. It'll say please wait 5 seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that 5 seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. If you're looking go ahead and click on skip game. ad. Sorry about that little video on the stupid advertisement. Okay, and then you go ahead and click on download to download the mod. When you download the mod, it might come up with a message saying that this file is not safe for your computer. That's not true. It's just because it's a jar file. I Trust me, it's completely safe, I promise you. So that is how to download the thread mod. Now for mod letter, if we go and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod letter 1.2.5, you can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything you'll need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot minecraft. Then open your bin. Left click your minecraft jar and right click it. Do open with and select whatever archive program you're using. I'm using WinRAR. So I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, we will be coming back to your bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So, once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK. And go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now, in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So, go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes, and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So, after you delete MetaInf, you're going to close your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin. So, go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now, you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So, if you do not have one already, you'll need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply right-click within the .minecraft folder. Do new and then select folder and that'll create a new folder in there. And you want to rename it mods, so just M O D S. Just like this, no capitalizations. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up and simply drag the uh, thread jar into the mods folder. Then you go ahead and close that down, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.